All you got to do is listen to it and you'll find your way. For black actors, the path to the spotlight can be challenging. I think theaters get into this sort of rhythm of programming their plays where it can be like, oh, we're doing like the one black show this season. And if you don't get that role, then your opportunities to act for that entire season are sort of limited, right? That reality pushed Andrew Lee Creech to stop acting and start writing to create more lead roles for black actors. His latest play, Last Drive to Dodge, is the start of a series of plays highlighting black people throughout American history. This is like the time where the American ideals are like really taking hold. And so I wanted to explore this period of transition, but through a uh, black lens in this time period that is typically whitewashed. Andrew thanks the Hansberry Project for helping bring this vision to life. Since 2006, the organization has been giving black artists a space for expression. We support any theater that is putting up a black show, that is showcasing the work of black playwrights and hiring and uh, giving work to black theater artists and technicians and designers. Valerie Curtis Newton says sometimes that support means paying for health care or advertising, not only in Seattle, but across the country. She co-created the project named after Lorraine Hansberry, the first black woman to have a play performed on Broadway. It's very, very gratifying. And I look around and I see the people that we've helped get their equity card. I see the people that We've helped uh, um, get more, more performances than one um, and how, uh, how our investment has lifted those boats. Back in 2020, the Asian American Performers Action Coalition released the visibility report, revealing only 29% of the roles were for black people during 2018-2019, the last full season before the COVID-19 shutdown. Historically, black folks have had a tense relationship with the American theater. So we were pushed out and decided, well, if we can't do what you're doing the way you're doing it, we'll make it for ourselves. The Hansberry Project is hoping to change those numbers one play at a time. I can't sit still while the whole world moves. But in a city like Seattle, filling the seats with more black faces is a difficult task. When the organization was created, the black population in Seattle stood at only 8.2 percent, according to the 2000 census. Since then, that number has declined to 6.8 percent. So if you're less than 10 percent of the population in a, in a space like this one, if we say there's 200 seats here and we bump our number up to, to 10 percent, that'd be 20 seats. But you're going to feel like there's no black people in the house. Mm -hmm. No matter who is in the audience, their goal is to make sure that black people are showcased in their full humanity. I've had black women come up to me specifically um, in tears, feeling like they have been, they feel seen and represented, and uh, which to me is like <laughs> the, the biggest compliment. A sign that nearly 20 years later, the Hansberry Project is still making an impact. Ashante Sumter reporting. Last Drive to Dodge runs through Saturday at Taproot Theater. The Hansberry Project is partnering with several other local projects this year. Just text the word PLAY to 206-448-4545 and we will send you the information.